This is Howard. This is Howard's home. Howard is bored with his view of the universe. He wants to explore. This aluminum frame will support Howard's new tank. The yellow plastic parts are 3D printed motor mounts. These are mechanum wheels. The vector addition that governs the motion of these wheels is complicated, but it is worth it. They will let Howard drive in eight different directions. We are controlling the motors with old FRC talons. They will receive signals from the GPIO pins on our Raspberry Pi. The talons connect to the Pi with servo cables. This touch screen will allow us to see what the camera sees and let us interact with the robot. Our Pi is attached to the back of the touch screen. It is connected to the talons in the USB camera. The motors are powered by a 12 volt FTC battery from Rev Robotics. The Raspberry Pi, the camera, and the touch display are powered by a 5 volt cell phone backup battery. On this side of the frame are two switches. These connect the batteries to the rest of the system. After getting through these books, we were ready to start bringing Howard's ride to life. With a few lines of code, we were able to access the camera. The bottom of the tank was covered with a black plastic board to provide maximum contrast with the fish. This is a live view of the bottom of the tank and the first attempt at blob detection. The glare from the room lights is a problem. Calibration is required. To calibrate the camera, we put three different orange objects in the tank and had the pie capture an image of them with the USB camera. A few different filters were applied to the image binary filter, the outline filter, and the inversion filter. There are still too many blobs. The pliers are the same color as the fish. After looking up the RGB value for the fish's main color, it was easy to subtract everything that was not the fish. This is a picture of the pliers with everything that is not dark orange subtracted. On the right, there is a display of the coordinates of the center of the orange mass. When the camera captures an image, the pie computes which of the 13 zones the center of mass of the fish is in at that moment. The robot then drives in that direction. The Pi takes one picture every second. The next step was to learn how to interact with the touch screen. This program registers the coordinates of a touch or a right mouse click and draws a white dot on the screen at the coordinates of the click. This drawing is the control system for Howard. If you touch the green square, you give Howard control. Touching the red button takes control away from Howard. All of the code for each piece of the project had to be integrated together into one loop. To get everything we need on the screen at once is complicated. First, we bring in the three live images. A zone reference is drawn over the first live image. The second image is replaced with just orange view. The last image is covered up with the touch controls. A couple last minute adjustments and then... After 300 hours of work, Howard is free! Electric Mayhem is going to Pittsburgh. Howard is making the trip in a cookie jar. After we made sure his speed was safe to the venue, we let him go. I made a couple more adjustments to lessen the delay between when the picture is taken and when the wheels react. Howard met a lot of people in Pittsburgh. Howard gained 114 followers in Pittsburgh. And he made some friends! Thanks for watching!